In addition to, you know, what we've been working in Leilani, uh, we've expanded that area to include, you know, the lower, the rest of the, the lower Pune area. Uh, still putting the messages out that, you know, the activity continues and for folks in the rest of the communities to be prepared, um, you know, at a moment's notice that they might, they might have to either evacuate or uh, um, move out of the area due to, you know, some kind of increased activity. I'm looking at what, what is the requirement. What's, what's challenging for us is, you know, what's going to be the, the number of or the population that we need to evacuate by air. You know, as long as the roads are open and there's a voluntary evacuation, you know, we're working with the county to see really what the numbers are going to be. So unless there's something catastrophic, no notice, we're thinking we may not even need aviation support. I, I'm thinking it's uh, Highway 130, 132, 137 being cut off and, and isolated community. And again, it'll be driven by, by the county asking for our support. So you don't have like numbers or an idea of what quantifies a massive I, I think the uh, worst case, what we're told is planned for about a thousand. But we, some of that, what they don't know is we believe some of the population may elect to stay there because they're so self-sufficient.